William Friedkin is gone. And we're all a little bit poorer because of his passing. Because he was an outspoken filmmaker, an outspoken person who said what was on his mind. He called out things that he did not agree with, things that he thought needed to be changed. And he's left behind a wonderful body of work that will live on for many decades to come. I was one of the people that was covering the controversy around the French connection. I didn't break the story. I covered the story and that coverage went viral. There was a line of dialogue removed from the French connection, quietly removed. There was no announcements. There was no statement about it. That dialogue contained a racial slur that was there to inform us about what kind of character, what kind of person Popeye Doyle is in the movie. It wasn't an accident that it was there. It was there for a reason. And the censorship or the editing of that line, however you choose to define it, affects the theatrical prints that have been sent out. It affects the digital, the streaming versions of the movie, the digital purchase versions of the movie. It doesn't seem to affect any versions outside of the U.S. This is primarily a USA issue. But I had tried to find out what happened. I tried to get an interview with Friedkin. And it wasn't meant to be. And now I understand that he probably wasn't well. And we have no statement from Friedkin about the controversy, about the removal of that dialogue. We don't know who did it. And it looks like we may never know who did it. But I'm going to give Friedkin the last word on this because in his commentary for The French Connection, he talks about what kind of character Popeye Doyle is. He talks about the messages and the themes of that movie, and it directly relates to basically that line of dialogue. So this is the last word, and uh, I think it tells us what we need to know, but... You can be the judge. We'll let Freakin speak for himself. Ray is all suave, sophistication, and charm. And this worked well for the film because Doyle, played by Hackman, is just the opposite. And that's really the theme of the film. The thin line between the policeman and the criminal. The cop who has the badge is basically an obsessive, brutalizing racist and the narcotics smuggler is a gourmet he dresses well he loves his wife he's in every um, imaginable way a charming human being and so i was constantly throughout the film trying to play that contrast and the thin line between them which very often crossed over